Welcome to everyone. In these videos we will see how to use TPA CAD modeling to create a parametric model of profile. I create a piece with a bar or profiled size 1200, 120, 80 mm. Assign two variables. R0, one fifth of the height. R1, one fifth of the thickness. The objective is to create a piece shaped according to a profile as shown in the figure. The proposed section is one from the end of the bar, face 4. I go into the modeling section and assign the profile that extrudes the piece along its length. I select face 4 as the extrusion face. Start profile at point, 0, 0, coordinates are programmed on face 4. Continues with the insertion of linear elements until the profile is completed. The coordinates of the traits are expressed in parametric form, using the variables R0 and R1. Each new element is inserted, the graphics update the modeling profile, always closing it on itself. After insertion is complete, the section corresponds to the reference drawing. Now the size of the original parallel pipe bed is dotted and without walls, the programmed extrusion assigns the new shape of the modeled piece. By changing the thickness of the piece, the extrusion fits. Now we define a new work plane, at a facet along the workpiece's development. We locate the plan by selecting it as a modeling element. For convenience of programming, turn the face axis so that they match the absolute axis of the workpiece. To do this apply rotation and symmetry on the face, until the desired result is achieved. Face positioning is not parametric, so it does not fit the workpiece size. It then provided the points of the face in a parametric form, this is a simple operation given the simplicity of the geometry. Now the face is parametric and adapts to the modifications of the piece dimensions. I open the view of the new face and program a milling on its length with start and end beyond the extremes of the face itself. Face 7. I modify the display to see the overall dimension of the tool in the original volume, rather than the face plane. The program can be used as a prototype for processing variable dimensions. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I invite you to search within our YouTube channel or on our Facebook page, where you can find other video tutorials from TPA CAD, or other applications. <laughs>